Hi, my name is Amar. This is the continuation of my previous video. Okay, in the previous video, I have discussed how to pick the image from camera or gallery by using the image picker plugin and GetX. Okay, in this particular video, I will discuss how to crop the selected image by using the image cropper plugin. After that, I will discuss how to compress the cropped image by using the Flutter image compress plugin. And after that, I will also discuss how to upload that compressed image by using Laravel API and Get Connect. Okay. Now here, let me move to the home controller. In the home controller, if you can see here, I have created two variables: crop image path and crop image size. These two variables are reactive. Okay. After that, here I have declared two more variables named as compress image path and compress image size. These two variables are also reactive. Now, as the name is suggesting, this crop image path will contain the path of the cropped image. This crop image size will contain the size of the cropped image. Compress image path will contain the path of the compressed image. And compressed image size will contain the size of the compressed image. Okay. Now, in the previous video, I have created this get image function right now here you can see i have written the code to crop the image now here you can see here i have created a variable named as crop image file and after that i have written await image cropper dot crop image this image cropper class is provided by the image cropper plugin which contains the method crop image and it takes parameter now in the source path here i have specified the selected image path dot value this means the image which we are selecting that will be the source path okay after that here i have specified the max width and max height and i have also specified what will be the format of the cropped image here you can see i have specified the format as image compress format dot jpg okay after that here i have written crop image path dot value equals to crop image file dot path this means this particular variable will contain sorry this very particular variable will contain the path of the cropped image similarly this crop image size will contain the size of the cropped image now this code i have already discussed in my previous video as you can see here i have shown you how to find out the size of the selected image similarly here i have find out what will be the size of the cropped image okay after that to compress here i have declared a variable named as dir and here i have written away directory dot system temp after that here i have declared another variable named as target path and in the target path here i have written dir dot absolute dot path plus temp dot jpg okay after that here i have created a variable named as compressed file and here i have written await flutter image compress this class is provided by the flutter image compress plugin which contains the method as compress get file compress and get file okay and this takes parameters as first first of all it takes the source path okay in the source path i want to compress the cropped image so in the source path i have specified the path of the cropped image after that we need to specify the target path which i have created here okay after that we need to specify the quality you can specify any value higher the value of this quality higher will be the quality of the compressed image okay after that here i have written compress image path dot value equals to compressed file dot path this means this particular variable will contain the path of the compressed file and this compress image size will contain the size of the compressed image okay and once the image is compressed after that i am calling a function named as upload image and in the upload image i am passing the compressed file okay and this function i have created below as you can see here i have created this upload image function which is taking the file as a parameter okay now once the image upload uh, starts at that time we need to show a circular progress indicator and to do that here i have created get dot dialog and here i have passed the center widget and as a child of the center widget i have passed the circular progress indicator and the barrier dismissible property of this dialog is made as false such that this dialog will not be cancelled once it clicked outside okay after that here i have written image upload provider now you can see in the project here i have created a provider okay you can see in the providers folder this image upload provider dot dot file has been created now how to create provider this i have already discussed in my previous videos okay so if i open this then you can see this image upload provider is there 
विच कंटेन्स अ क्लास नेम्ड एज इमेज अपलोड प्रोवाइडर विच एक्सटेंड्स गेट कनेक्ट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लास आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ फंक्शन नेम्ड एज अपलोड इमेज विच टेक्स फाइल एज अ पैरामीटर दिस फंक्शन हैज बीन मेड एज एसिंग आफ्टर दैट इन द ट्राई ब्लॉक हेर आई हैव रिटर्न फाइनल फॉर्म इक्वल्स टू फॉर्म डाटा एंड इन द फॉर्म डाटा एज अ की आई हैव पास फाइल एंड एज अ वैल्यू ऑफ दिस की आई हैव पास मल्टीपार्ट मल्टीपार्ट फाइल बिकॉज आई एम अपलोडिंग इमेज दैट्स वाई हेर आई हैव पास मल्टीपार्ट फाइल ओके and in the multipart file here i have passed file and in the file name i have passed aa.jpg the first parameter specifies the file which i want to upload and the file which i want to upload will be stored here so in the multipart file here i have specified this file means this one okay and in the file name i have specified aa.jpg you can specify any name right after that i have written final response equals to await post and in the post i have specified or i am calling this particular root customer profile upload and after that i am passing the value which has been stored in form okay and if response dot status dot has error if there is any error then future dot error response dot body will be returned else it will return response dot body of result and if any exception occurs then i will return future dot error and after that the exception which has been generated that will be returned okay now let me open the laravel code and in the api.php you can see this root i have created customer profile image upload whenever this root will be called it will actually call the customer profile image upload class of app controller now if i move to app controller then here you can see i have created this customer profile image upload now here i have written dollar request file now this name this file this name and this key name which i have specified here must be same since here the key name is file that's why here i have written file okay if it is abc then here you need to write abc okay now request file store as this this, this is a method which is provided by laravel okay after that it takes two parameter first one the path or the folder where you want to store and the second parameter what will be the name of the file here you can specify any name okay now if request dot file dot is valid this means if the file has been uploaded successfully then it then in this particular variable a success will be stored stored and if the file is not uploaded successfully then in this particular variable fail will be stored and after that i am returning that result data okay that's why here you can see if the a response is success then here you can see it is returning response dot body result why result is returned because here you can see the name is a result right now let me move to home controller once again now here you can see once this upload image function is called this dialog which contains the circular progress indicator is shown after that image upload provider after that i am calling the upload image function which is present inside the image upload provider after that i am passing file the file which i want to upload okay dot then response if the response comes then get dot back this means this dialog will be closed now i am checking if response equals to equals to success this means if the file is uploaded then this snag bar will be displayed if the response is fail then this snag bar will be displayed and on error if any kind of error occurs then again get dot back this means the dialog will be closed and whatever error has occurred that error will be displayed by using this get dot snack bar okay that's it now if i run this and if i can show you the output let me show you here if i click on camera if i capture the image if i select this now you can see i can crop the image okay let me crop the image and after that the image is compressed you can see the size is now 0.06 mb and you are getting a success matches file upload now generally when we capture the image from camera the size is usually 5 mb okay but after cropping and crop compressing the size you can see it has been reduced to 0.06 mb and we have get a message file has been uploaded successfully now if i go to the folder where the image has been uploaded you can see this image you can see this image has been uploaded 
वन ओके दिस इज हाउ वी कैन क्रॉप द इमेज वी कैन कॉम्प्रेस द इमेज एंड फाइनली वी कैन अपलोड द इमेज यू कैन फाइंड द सोर्स कोड ऑफ दिस एंटायर प्रोजेक्ट इन गिट हब द लिंक विच आई प्रोवाइड विच आई विल प्रोवाइड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ माई वीडियो आई होप यू हैव लाइक माई वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग